This is a continuation of the reactions of carboxylic acids. Amides are synthesized by reaction of a carboxylic acid with ammonia or with a primary or secondary amine. It is of great importance to recognize the different types of amines. A primary amine is that that the nitrogen is attached to only one carbon. In a secondary amine, the nitrogen is bonded to two carbons, and a tertiary amine has no hydrogens attached to the nitrogen, but is bonded to three carbons. There are three different types of amides. The difference between amines and amides is that the nitrogen is attached to a carbonyl, carbon-oxygen double bond. Carboxylic acids are weak acids. They can undergo ionization in water to form carboxylate ion and hydronium ion. The extent of ionization is very small and they will exist in an equilibrium. A solution of a carboxylic acid in pure water has a pH that is very close to 3, 3.5, and only a small percentage of this carboxylic acid will exist in the ionized form. A carboxylic acid can react with a solution of sodium hydroxide to form a carboxylate salt. Because nitrogen-containing compounds are weak bases, they can also react in similar way, where the carboxylic acid will be a proton donor. That is, the nitrogen will be abstracting the proton from the carboxylic acid. We have seen in the chapter of amines how a nitrogen can be protonated to form an ammonium ion. You need to remember that nitrogen always will have a set of lone pairs making three bonds. They are weak bases. Because they are weak bases, they can abstract a proton to acids, becoming a positively charged nitrogen. So the reaction between the carboxylic acid and ammonia is nothing but the protonation where this proton is coming from the carboxylic acid to produce an ammonium salt. This is an acid-base reaction between the nitrogen, abstraction of the proton from the carboxylic acid to produce the ammonium salt of the acid. If the reaction is carried out between 20 and 50 degrees, there is not amide formation. There is only an acid-base reaction to form an ammonium carboxylate salt. When the ammonium carboxylate is heated above 100 degrees, then we can remove a molecule of water to produce an amide. A covalent bond between the nitrogen and the carbonyl will form only if it's a reaction between ammonia and a carboxylic acid, a primary amine, or a secondary amine. Again, if the temperature of the reaction is between 20 to 50 degrees, only we get the salt of the acid, but we can evaporate one molecule of water if this solution is heated over 100 degrees. We can summarize that the reaction between ammonia, which is a gas, and a carboxylic acid at high temperature will produce an amide, and this is a primary amide. This is a reaction between a primary amine and a carboxylic acid. When we don't use any heat, the product will be, again, an ammonium salt. Look at the increase in the number of hydrogens that are bonded to the nitrogen. When the ammonium carboxylate is heated over 100 degrees, then we get a secondary amide. The process is the same when we use a secondary amine and it's going to make 
a tertiary amide when this substance is heated. However, when the reaction is between a carboxylic acid and a tertiary amide with heat or without heat, the product will be the same. It will be a reaction between an acid and the base of the amino group will not be the formation of a covalent bond between the nitrogen and the carbonyl. The product is the carboxylate associated to the ammonium ion. So 